well, that's not really, you know, there's stairs right there. No, this is the only way up. You got that, Joy. Whoa! That is not the only way that's up. The, I am not, do you want to do that? That's the realness. Oh shit. <laughs> A word. A word. See? He's here. Oh shit. Spider Negress. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I guess you can take the stairs. There are stairs. Lucky for you. <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> What really? took you? What took you so long, though, girl? God, come on, I got on, you, though, man. Too. <laughs> That's not even possible at this juncture. I might have a future. I might. I might be you, done. I think you might. You, I might be done in the on-camera world and just be a late stunt bloomer. Well, here's the parkour. Yeah, boom. Hmm. So you've got Olympics album, the the, the new album. Mm -hmm. Um, stoked. Stoked, I'm a mentoring organization, which you are a major part of and proponent of. So well, thank you, thank sir. Thank you. We are in, in our eighth year at Stoked Mentoring. It's a mentoring organization for at-risk youth based in New York and Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And taking the principles of action sports, falling down, getting back up. Taking those principles and giving them to a kid whose uh, parameters are only his you know, the square of, of his box, whether right. that be his neighborhood, his family history, trying to give him the tools um, to break out of that and make some, some choices. I mean, listen, I actually, I one of the reasons why I relate to Stoke and I love the organization so much is that I was one of those kids. I right. grew up in those areas. Right. So the more positive role models and positive um, images of, of adults um, doing positive things right. and also helping and nurturing them. And again, going back to your um, place in action sports, whether it be from going from, from New York to Carlsbad, and I'm sure you've dealt with um, from the, the, um, the, the extreme racism, I'm sure you've experienced in those <laughs> like, places. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny. The, the, the racism thing is, is interesting because I think a lot of the racism that I went through early mm -hmm. was less racism and more ignorance. I remember a funny story where uh, I was at the beach, I was getting out of the water, and this family was walking with, uh, you know, it was two kids and their parents, a white family, and the, well, the mom came up to me. I'm dripping wet with my surfboard. I said, excuse me, excuse me, we're on vacation, um, and we're from, we're, we're not from here, and. I mean, it would just mean the world to us if you took a picture with our family because they won't believe it when we tell them that we saw a black man surfing. Like, could we take, and they stopped somebody else, handed them their camera, took the picture, and on some mantelpiece somewhere in the South sits that family and me just like. <laughs> I dealt with a lot of that as I moved forward in my career, especially on television. Because then the next thing you know, out of nowhere, people would say to you, like, literally say, like, it's really cool that ESPN made that choice. That's a good move for them because you brought in their horizons. Mm. And it's and then people thought that, that I got to ESPN and then they figured out a way for me to learn about this shit. And next thing you know, like, you've had this whole life where the previous 15 years of your life has been these sports. Mm -hmm. And now you're trying to have to convince a mainstream audience that you're not part of some design plan, that mm -hmm. this is your shit and that you live it. Mm -hmm. That's or, what your dad went through. <laughs> exactly. And then, and, and that's where I've really gotten to understand and appreciate the example that I have with my father. Mm -hmm. Because my father was dealing with something such, so much bigger and, and global and impacted his entire family to the point where he was ripped from his family and he didn't have a country or couldn't, I didn't meet my sister or my grandfather until I was 19 years old. Wow. Until my dad went back to South Africa and could go back legally without getting killed or thrown in prison, that's when I got to go meet my family. Mm. So having that history, 
I think prepped me for all of this in a way where I never had to like freak out mm -hmm. and never, I never let them win, mm -hmm. you know, to the point where I did some, some like stupid react or like said like, well, this is racist. Like, fuck that. I just put my head down and I always knew that I had to, to do that and that much more to prove that this is where I belong because mm -hmm. of my talents, not mm -hmm. because it's a good look, mm -hmm. you know? So what's next, um, do you think? In the big picture, mm -hmm. like the one thing that's left for me because I'm a glutton for punishment and humiliation is to really do some meaningful projects as an actor. Um, I don't have any sort of uh, delusions of you know becoming some leading man but I think um, you have stories that you want to tell I have stories I want to tell and I get excited about getting to do different things mm -hmm. I love all the things that I do sometimes I wish I didn't have the desire because it's not a fame thing no no I mean well you've never done anything because of fame yeah or because you wanted the fame you do it because you love and for the passion so. I just know that I have something to give and I'm have something to give to the point where I can gain the respect of people to do it and so should that, when that opportunity comes, then, then I'm, I'll be swinging for the fence. I'm glad you said when and not if. Yeah, no, there's there's no if. It's it's only when. That's that's probably the most valuable lesson that I've learned in this whole journey. But you know what? In all of our 10 years of friendship now, mm -hmm. this is probably, this is one of the most unique. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't envision what it was gonna be like, but it was better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned from the best, brother. I learned from the best. Shit. Take it to the end. Cheers to that. Shelly. Yeah. Mosey. Mm. Thank you so much. Watch as multi-talented, multi-hyphenated Sal Masakela, host, actor, musician, philanthropist, all-around cool guy, <laughs> and my friend. And they gave me a shot with the mic and I knocked it out the park. As we together take a leap of faith. <laughs> oh, nice. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On across the board.